last week at COP. COP hosted an outreach for a group of high-ranking military officers at which 42 were born again. Exhibit A sang at the event and Pastor shared the word. This week at COP, Pastora Paula led our teams joining with Pastor Hill at the Las Pina City Jail and 92 inmates were born again. We continually thank God for open doors to minister in our prisons. This week at COP, our ever busy Luke's call had a medical mission with District 3. 85 of the patients they saw gave their lives to the Lord. What a great way to spend a Saturday, Luke's call. This week at COP, camp. We have had three incredibly fantastic camps. CAD held its Like a Fire with over 300 campers in the beautiful mountains of Antipolo. Never a dull moment with this bunch of fired up campers throughout the three-day event. Next up, PCD held its camp called Sold Out, also with over 300 campers, learning about applying peer evangelism in their connect groups. Also, 16 leaders responded to the altar call for those with a call to full-time ministry, Peter's Generation. Then, our kids had their Grace Made Camp, learning how to humble themselves before the Lord and receive His grace lavished on them. This week at COP, from our COP Batangas branch, the Gilio family dedicated their new car. It's a Toyota Innova. Congratulations and nice to hear from Batangas. This week at COP, Brother June Casanova, an MMU assistant leader with his wife Beth, want to praise God for a brand new crosswind van. This is one of their seven solid achievements and it will be used for their transport business. This week at COP, from cars to houses, Joselito and Lydia Concepcion are praising God for their own house and lot, a result they said of their recession-proofing vows to the Lord. This week at COP, Brother Sherwin and Sister Wendy Remigio dedicated their dream house. God answered their prayers to have their own house and lot. They say, indeed, our God is our stronghold, our rock, and our fortress. This week at COP, Brother Frank and Sister Sol Remigio are also thanking God for their dream house, a result of their recession-proofing vows. This week at COP, Jive 2012 was a great success, as 52 of our wonderful COP leaders' kids, the teenagers, studied and learned together every day. Can't wait to see them in their newly chosen and qualified for ministry involvements. This week at COP YSTBS, our annual short-term youth Bible school. YSTBS started its two-week run and there are no words to describe the energy and life of these young people. They reach out for God, they learn the word like sponges absorbing everything. They make the days so much fun for their teachers and they get one more week. This coming week is also YSTBS. Live out loud, young people. This week at COP, Pastor Hill and Pastor Apollo were back in prison, Kalaokan City Jail. In fact, 151 inmates were saved as the team ministered the gospel to them. This week at COP, our mighty men in uniform left for a three-day tour of the bases in Dagupan, La Union, and Baguio. As of the very first day, they saw 85 cadets saved and then 318 policemen and women. For given, our own quartet of musicians was with them proclaiming the gospel. This week at COP, our Lion of Judah East Campus Choir had an outreach to a home for abused girls and praise God, 20 were born again. This week at COP, Just for Kids Music, Batch 1 kicked off with intern Brother Jacob leading the way with our young children learning to praise God with music. Coming up at COP, this week is KSTBS, our kids short-term summer Bible program and it will be in no less than eight locations. Parents, to get your kids involved, please see the YBD Children's Pastors for more information. KSTBS is April 24 through May 5. Coming up at COP, an announcement for our COP members. The annual business meeting has been rescheduled for one month later. You will hear further details from Pastor. It has been another great week at COP. COP.